Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope you ha have had a wonderful Monday. I am here, the sun has just set, making my way down to the beach. Much needed. I've had a great day, but I can't lie. It's been a little bit stressful. Whoa. <laughs> Good fall. If you're gonna fall, that's the way to fall. Um, oh, let me take off my flip-flops. Get these toes in the sand. What I wanted to say before I fell was, one of the most wonderful things about living at the beach is being able to come down here to this glorious beauty and just feel that peace overcome you um, right off the bat. Right when you come down here, the soothing sounds of the ocean, you can't help but feel at peace and be calm and uh, just the things that are no longer serving you go. So. Here it is, the gorgeous beach. And as I said, the sun just set. So you can see that behind me. The colors are so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. So here it is, the place that I love and that I live, North Myrtle Beach, right here in the Tillman section. You're looking at OD section. We have Maritime and a Vista and um, going all the way down, you see the Ashworth some of the other hotels and whatnot, but it is just a glorious evening here. Perfect night to come down to the beach and enjoy a little walk. And it's good to get away from those. Um, I actually, I live in a neighborhood, even though I am right on the main street and um, we don't get any trick-or-treaters. I haven't had trick-or-treaters for, for years, ever since I've lived there. So um, I'm missing out on that. And, uh, but I know that a lot of the communities, actually we celebrated over the weekend, a lot of the communities and the trunk and treats and whatnot were set up here. And that's the great thing too about being down at the beach. So many restaurants, and establishments. I'm thinking of a few restaurants here, Archie's, and um, there's another one, I think it was Locals, that had festivities set up for the kids and the trunk or treat. So they'll have uh, trick or treating with the cars all parked there and giving out all sorts of fun treats, and the kids get to get all dressed up and um, parents get to enjoy it as well and it's in a safe neighborhood and safe area and uh, everyone just has a great time so there were a lot of festivities and fun going on here over the weekend we also had in North Myrtle Beach and I was gonna go down there and show it to you but our weather didn't really cooperate um, right on Main Street there's so many awesome festivals on Main Street oh we're just so fortunate so of course we have the St. Patrick's Day Festival. Well, let's even, let's think about going forward right now, just so I can, so we have um, a huge Christmas parade that's gonna be coming up and then making our way, then we'll end up having, well, St. Patrick's Day, as I said, and then there's all sorts of summer festivals that we have here. There's a big end of summer festival as well. Now, during the summer, we have at the Horseshoe, music on Main, and that's Thursday nights, and people just absolutely love that. So we have a variety of bands. You come on down, they section off part of Main Street. 
you can bring down your chair and have a great time with your neighbors listening to some awesome music and then um not too long ago we had the italian and irish festival so uh everybody was getting their jig on and the green beer was flowing um and there's there's a lot of other ones too so this saturday this past saturday there was a classic car show that was going on and um everyone was showing off their their rides uh the classic cars they had them all parked down main street and again the city did a great job of partitioning off that whole area so there's always something to do here it's always awesome but then of course all you have to do is come down um, a golf um, a golf drive away you know um, we're looking at what 350 yards here or so from Main Street to the beach and you are here in this tranquil setting it just doesn't get better than this I really feel so blessed to live here work here and know that it's always here for me you know it's always here for me it's always here for everybody you know that's the beautiful thing about it I talk with locals and you know some of my friends and people I work with and whatnot and uh, people that I have taught in yoga classes some of my photography clients and not enough people that live in the area take advantage of this awesome beach so um, but of course some do when you get into the habit of coming down here regularly and going for walks or just coming down here setting up your chair and reading or relaxing uh, it does become a habit and something you want to do regularly and you know there are plenty of locals and tourists and I um, in well, obviously, I'm talking more so about the locals, the folks that live here, that do come down here regularly, and I see them when I'm doing my photo sessions or when I'm going on my walk. So, it's just such a, such an asset to our community. You know, it's basically the anchor of our community in so many ways, and we've built an excellent community around it where we have everything else as well we have a fabulous rec department we have the possum trot recreation department they have a great pickle pickleball program you know how big pickleball is they're going to be building some more courts there i think they already have six and um and as I'm thinking about possum trot, so there's jazzercise there that's been going on for goodness, maybe 20 years. Other classes there that you can pay just as you go. And then they have art programs set up for adults and kids. They have, uh, I'm thinking, is it Taekwondo or Karate? It's Karate. And I did that years ago with the gentleman gentleman uh named um i said mr green i might be getting that wrong but i think that was it but he was uh the master at the karate classes that they had and of course they had them for kids and adults and to that um and then right over there as well they have tennis courts set up so you can take tennis lessons and they have uh, leagues around in the community and then going beyond that um, so other things that our community has set up is um, just everything you need as far as health care dental care um, all those necessities some great schools in the area um, and us locals are so proud of our community keeping it beautiful and 
we all work together to do that. So there's just so much we have to offer here in North Myrtle Beach. All right, everybody. So I just wanted to go ahead and share my little beach walk with you and um, hope that you had an awesome weekend. You're having an awesome night tonight, maybe in your community, your city. Uh, the trick-or-treaters are actually out and about. So that's always fun. Um, so again, until next time, y'all take care and uh, make it happen. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.